We're using the aircraft as a flying test bed. It's designed to carry up several different types of payloads, about uh, 35 pounds worth of payload. So we take it up so we can take uh, airborne measurements of uh, radio frequency signals, uh, radar signals. Uh, there's a goal in the future to use it to take LIDAR sensors up. So it's a low cost test bed. It gives us the ability to offer proof of principle tests to customers at a price that's reasonable, at a schedule that's reasonable. If, uh, if a, a customer went to one of the, the current day UAV manufacturers and asked to put a specialty payload on one of their airplanes, it would cost them a lot of money and it would take a lot of time. And we can be a very responsive, very flexible asset to allow us to test lots of different things from the air. We're initially starting with uh, RF-based sensors. We're talking, we've got a signals intelligence package that we've flown on our first flight. We're building a radar for it, but there's really anything that will fit in, within the aircraft and it doesn't take too much power, we can fly. We've got vision for flying uh, different kinds of cameras, infrared cameras, electro-optical sensors of various sorts, uh, hyperspectral sensors for a wide variety of potential missions, not only uh, DOD and scientific, but also perhaps for missions that would support environmental emergencies and things like that. Agricultural sensing, there's just about anything that will fit on the plane and, uh, and not be too heavy, uh, that it, where it makes sense to fly it from the air, that'll be what it's useful for. We are designing internally within SEAL a four-channel radar system that will be on the next phase, basically, the next mission package for the airplane. It'd be a very flexible radar with electronically steered antenna and a very flexible waveform generator allow us to do a lot of different missions with it, do ground imaging with a synthetic aperture radar mode, do moving target indicator, looking for vehicles and people moving around on the ground, and a lot of high resolution measurements, uh, coherent change detection, things like that. The radar will be a research tool and allow us to basically look at a lot of different missions and modes that, that a sponsor might care about. The, the aircraft's uh, readily available. It's inexpensive to operate. Uh, we've got qualified people to operate it. We have certificates of authorization from the FAA to operate it at a couple of different locations. So it's a, a low-cost approach to getting airborne data.